the fast, cheap, reliable MUD coins, go to MMOXP.com for the cheapest coins on the market. And use discount code MONEYSHOT for an additional 5% off your next order. Link in the description below. Welcome back, YouTubers and man fans. This is Mad Money Shot, sniffing out the man cheese as always. Got another top five video for you guys today. Today, I'm going to be going over my top five passing plays that work right now in Madden 21. These are the most explosive passing plays that really have success against pretty much any defense in the game. So, no matter what defense you run, these passing plays should have the answer for that. If you guys want me to continue to do uh, you know, videos like this, I already did top five run plays. I'll try to have a link to the, in the description for that, as well as I'll try to have links in the description for the full break breakdowns of these offenses that I show you today because they all come from uh, previous videos that I've already put out other than that if you guys want to see uh, more videos like this more top five videos I want to do top five defenses maybe next week uh, maybe later in this week I'm not 100% sure but hit the like button and let me know in the comment section if you guys want to see that uh, other than that let's go let's get right into the video for now let's go let's pick the PA tight end leak on the defensive side I'm going to try to hit myself with a cover four I hope that the uh, the Cardinals playbook has a good cover four in here uh, but we're going to start off with cover three anyway so let's go ahead and let's pick uh cover three sky just to start now before i get into this video as always this video is brought to you by coin sponsors at moxp.com if you're trying to get your mud team up like mine make sure to check them out link in the description below and use discount code money shot to get five percent off your order now the only caveat for this play to work against cover three uh and this is different than other cover three plays that i put out in the past the other cover three plays i put out you had to flat out run it from the from the hash mark for it to work a lot of cover three beaters work very well from the hash mark one of the reasons i really like this play is because you don't have to run from the hash mark but you do have to run to the open side of the field so just the slightest um you know you don't have to be all the way to the hash which obviously can be a problem but being anywhere in the center of the field will work you just have to make sure that you run it to the open side of the field every time and then as far as the setup go i mean you got to love the setup it can't be easier all i'm going to do is streak the tight end and streak the x route that's all you have to do there's no other adjustments needed uh you have a good check down here which is going to be uh the fullback so if you have um you know anybody is uh, sending, uh, you know, say you get you get shedded, you get an instant shed, whatever. You have that check down. Obviously, that wasn't a huge pickup, but a lot of times you'll have this uh, fullback in the flat. You can even motion this fullback out to get him a little bit more of a head start, and then you can see you can steal 10 to 12 against off coverages like cover three and cover four over and over and over. But I'm going for the one play touchdown. It's a super easy one play touchdown anyway. All I have to do is streak these two guys, and the X route here is going to be a, uh, a super quick one play touchdown over the top of cover three. Now, you can see he's going by like five to ten yards there he's not even a super fast receiver we'll go to the replay real quick just to show you guys what to look for because i get people in, in the comment section saying this isn't working and i think it's really based off of timing or maybe they're fading instead of streaking i'm not 100 percent sure but you have to watch this cornerback here this cornerback here is basically going to go stride for stride with this guy to a point you can see right here he's going stride for stride with him but you can see he already starts to kind of go into like a little jog the second he slows down you just you're basically just loading up and the only thing i would say is you know put slide your protection to the left as well i like to slide my protection in the direction which i'm going to throw it just makes it a little bit easier for me um to get this this throw off like say i don't have enough arm strength i'm not using patrick mahomes here. i'm using jimmy g you can see we got plenty of arm strength there and that was a ton of separation now this is also a really good cover for one play touchdown i'm gonna go ahead and pick that now by cover four i don't mean cover four match there's cover four match and then there's cover four drop cover four drop or cover four contain sometimes it's called but basically you can see the difference i'm talking about the one with the dark purples for people that have uh, issues following me on that so we're going to go with the cover four drop here this here does not have match principles now the only thing i'm really going to do motion this guy out um i can put the a route here on a block i can put the b route here on a smoke uh and the fullback i don't really need that's all i really need i mean i can put the a route on a drag if i want to check down these are pretty much the only things that you need to set up to make this play work and then you you can see this guy here he's just going to cross uh you know and once again I mean, we're getting really um a lot of separation here now cover for match is another uh covers that i find is getting very popular a lot largely might be due to this channel i know i've been pushing cover for match for a very long time as one of the better uh defenses in the game so let's go and let's pick cover four quarters cover four palms it doesn't really matter just anything that shows um you know cover four quarters cover four palms are all the same just as long as you have matching principles now this play is going to be a little bit different the only thing that's really going to change here uh, is i want to motion one of these guys either the rb route or the y route over now the rb route doesn't go very far 
Um, if I really want to motion out uh, the running back, he'll go a bit farther. So I'll just motion him out. He's better. Put him on a comeback. Uh, and then block the running back. Put the A route on. I'm just going to put everybody else on curls. I'm going to put the A route on a curl. The B route, I can put on anything like an out route. Just give myself a check down. It doesn't really matter. But you can go all curls. The curls are going to be the most important part. Uh, and then the X route is really going to be the home run route once again. As you can see, he just kind of gets inside. He's basically in a one-on-one, -on -one and we just get a very easy one-play touchdown over the top. That's one way to do it. Now, if you want to get a little bit more separation, which obviously you do, if you smart route this X route, I find it does a better job. It'll get open quicker, uh, and it'll get open... It'll just get open better. So, once again, putting these uh, other routes all on curls, or like I said, you can put the B route and an out route, smart route them, something like that. Doesn't really matter. That's going to give you another good option, though. And then we're going to have the same effect when it comes to this X route. As you can see, these these cornerbacks just can't really handle those routes. Uh, or these safeties, rather, I should say, can't really handle those routes. Against cover two, I'm going to mirror that look. I'm going to motion this guy out and put him on a streak. That's all I really need to do. Against cover two zone. Then I'm going to block the fullback because he's not really doing anything. Put the B route on a flat and put the A route on a smart route. This is just going to spread the cover two safeties as widely apart as possible. Uh, and then I basically just want to bullet. I'm sorry, not bullet, but uh, pass lead up once he makes that break. As you can see right there, we just split those safeties. When it comes to man coverages, based off of the formation, a lot of times you'll have inside releases uh, with your receiver. So on a play like this, all I have to do is put the X route here on a smart route. You can see before I smart route him, he's breaking at about 15 yards or more. If I smart route him, it'll break to um, 10 yards if you're first and 10, second and 10, whatever. And in that scenario, you'll get an instant, easy throw uh, inside the, the man coverage cornerback. So you can steal that all game. And uh, the other play I'm going to show, which is the PA deep cross. We'll start off with that next. Uh, we'll go with the, the PA deep cross. And then we're going to start off with cover three zone uh, on the defensive side. So basically what I was trying to get at with these two plays, having essentially the same route, but the different receiver is on them, is that will really help you to disguise what the home run route is if you really try to mix it up. Uh, because your opponent might try to uh, follow the crossing route, trying to take away the one play touchdown that I'm going to show you, uh, which ultimately, you know, you can, um, you know, it's going to be a benefit. So like I said, this play here, you can actually home run cover two with that as well, which I'll show in a minute. But we're going to start off with that. It's going to be the exact same setup no matter which play you run. Uh, this play here, if it's a cover three, you just want to motion out the X route, put them on an out route and the smart route them. And that's pretty much going to be all she wrote. Then you just have to wait for this B route to cross the middle. And then you can see you have a really easy one play touchdown against cover three. Like I said, you can do that with the other play going the opposite direction. Against cover four, all we're going to do is put this X route in a drag and we're going to motion out the opposite receiver this time. You basically, to beat cover four, you really have to spread this formation out and deflate the left side of the uh, the deep safeties so that's all we're really going to do uh, and then we're just going to wait for this uh, this b route here to get inside of this uh this strong safety here and then we we don't get the completion but you can see he got passed so we'll go and we'll do that again but i am working with jimmy garoppolo here so you know we might not be able to complete the the most spectacular passes in the world based off of who i'm working with uh but you can see without a doubt we're just going to save catch that because i just didn't have any faith that the rat catch was going to happen but you can see it's passed this play can also have a lot of success against cover two zone if you crawl, if you motion across the B route. Put the X route on a streak and then put the A route on a drag. Uh, and this is pretty much going to be the look right here. Uh, and then you just really have to just bullet pass lead to the outside with this B route. And you're going to have success to the outside once again. As I'm going to basically uh, you know make this play work again, all you really have to do is just move up two spots to the Saints corner. As far as cover two zone goes, it's really easy. I mean, number one, you need a quarterback with some throw power uh, and you're going to need some speed at the wide route that's pretty much all you need to make this play work i'm just going to motion in this x route this is the exact same setup as it was uh you know pre-patch uh, and this is pretty much it. You're just going to motion in the running back, streak him and the tight end, put the RB route here in a drag. That's really all you have to do. And you're going to have a pretty instant one play touchdown against cover two, uh, just as long as you stay in bounds, which I did not do. But you can see he gets outside the coverage. So like I said, I'm not going to spend a ton of time on it, but if I ran that to the open side of the field, it'd be even easier. So I'm just going to do that real quick just to show how easy this can be uh, a touchdown. You don't even have to do, honestly, all the other setups you don't even have to do. All you really have to do is motion this guy in put him on a streak his job really is just to pull that safety back and then like i said my biggest issue right now is the sideline now as far as this play goes 
Uh, the one thing that I think is important, I think you should always run it to the open side of the field, but it's not like the previous cover three beater that I put out where you have to run it all the way to the hash. So to me, no matter where you are on the field, just make sure you flip the play. You can be just a couple of inches to the open side of the field and it's going to work. So just make sure that you're running this to the open side of the field and you'll be golden. So all I'm going to do now to make this play work is motion this receiver in. He only comes in a couple of feet, but that's all you need. And you're going to see that this play here is an easy one play touchdown once again. Now that, I don't know why uh, that bullet pass was so far out. I tried to lob it, but you can see he gets right past. That's the most important part. Now there are several adjustments you can make uh, to make this play, um, you know, it's really up to opinion if you're making it better or not. But you can put this X route here on a smart route, uh, which I don't find is necessary, but I find it can help, especially if you're like second and seven or third and five or something like that. It will shorten the route and it'll make that cornerback bite even harder. Then you could also put the A route on a streak just to keep the safety on that side of the field as much as possible. And you can put the RB route on a slant to give yourself a check down. The only thing that can really make mess this play up is the defender in front of Deshaun Jackson. If he gets a zone chuck that he basically slows Deshaun Jackson down too much and he doesn't get past the cornerback, that's the only thing that can really make this play not work but you can see a lot of times he just whips or he doesn't get his hands on him and I, I attribute that to where you are on the field I think that if you run to the open side of the field you'll get that look so when it comes to cover four quarters we're going to go back to the original setup once again you want to have some space to the open side of the field because this route angles in that direction I'm going to motion in this running back and I'm going to put him on a curl that's all you got to do once again this is pretty much it the Y route here is going to be pretty much instantly gone as he just runs right back uh, right past the cornerback now this play can also also have a lot of success against man cover one man cover two man zero it doesn't really matter exact same motion exact same setup except you're gonna put this guy on a streak that's pretty much it that's all you got to do I'm gonna slide my protection this time though because this does take a little bit longer to get open you can see the Y route really got off that jam uh, which I don't I don't even know I gotta watch the replay there. that was instant so I'm gonna go and pick the play the PA zone shot you probably want your fastest receiver here uh, but I'm gonna leave Henry Ruggs alone because I don't want anybody saying that the reason that this play is working is because of Henry Ruggs' speed. So I'm going to leave Nelson Aguilar in the home run spot. So let's go and let's pick the PA post shot. On the defensive side, I'm going to start off uh, with cover two zone like I typically do and work my way back. Like I said, this play is going to be a one-play touchdown against just about every defense in the game. So one of the better ways to do this... Uh, would be to put this uh, RB route on a flat, then put the B route on a smoke. If you do that, um, the safety will stay out of the way. It'll basically spread these safeties and give you just a hellacious uh, one-play touchdown right through the, safe, the center safeties there. Against cover three, you really have to run this uh, from the hash marks. Again, you have to run to the open side of the field. So all I'm going to do here is I'm going to bring this guy in here, and I typically either put him on a streak or a fade. Some For some reason, sometimes when you put him on a streak, he'll angle towards the uh, the safety, like right here. I don't know why he does that, but it totally messes the play up. So it's actually better to put him on a fade. So I'll go ahead and do that again. This time, like I said, I'll do the fade. I do feel that that helps. Block my running back. I'll shift my line to uh, the left as well, because sometimes I'll roll in that direction to shorten this throw, because it's not the easiest throw for Derek Carr to make. And then you can see we get over the top for a one-play touchdown. Like I said, a little bit of a better arm, a little bit more speed would be helpful. Against uh, regular cover four drop, uh, which is one of the reasons I took the, uh, the Chiefs, is because I know they have all these defenses. And this play, you don't really need any adjustments. Now, this is another play I really think that, uh, you know, having... Uh, Having a faster receiver here is going to help out, but you can see, I mean, he just gets right through the safeties. He splits the safeties. Against cover four quarters, all you have to do is motion this guy in once again. I like to put him on a smart route about 10 yards, but I don't think that's necessarily 100% important. And then you can see here, I mean, we're just getting right over the top. This is just a super fast, easy one-play touchdown against cover four. If you don't motion him in, it won't work out like that. Uh, but I'm going to go ahead, I'm going to finish this particular video off with a cross drag. This is obviously a really good uh, man coverage play again, but I'm going to go ahead, I'm just going to pick random. Now, for me, I like to run this guy. I like to motion this guy across. There's a couple different ways you can run it. I also like to streak the A route sometimes, although it's not a bad idea just to uh, leave it as is. Like I said, I like to motion him across because I think it's just better timing between the X route and the Y route. Then I'm going to go ahead and block the running back because he's not really doing a ton. But all these crossing routes, I mean, you can see how against man coverage is going to be a complete uh, destroyer based off the fact that we have all these crossing routes. But it's not just going to do that against man coverage. So like I said, I like to streak the A route. Sometimes I even like to streak the uh, you know, the X route too, but that doesn't really matter. I think that the two main routes are going to be the Y route and the B route. And then you can see right here, this guy just comes open right across from that. So really easy read. Like I said, sometimes if you want to 
put the uh, the running back out like you've been in the past. Put him on a slant. I mean, I wish I could put him on uh, a similar route um, that the uh, the Y route is on. Uh, but then, like I said, now you have you know you have you guys pulling back, and then you have uh, multiple options uh, to really come open underneath. But this is really the money play right here. This is the guy that's going to be open the most, and then the drag underneath him is typically just going to be a check down. So that's it. That's the video. If you guys want to see more top five videos like this, like top five defenses, which is something I like to do next, do me a favor. Hit the like button. Let me know in the comment section. Other than that, thanks for watching, man. Money shit out. Need more help or just want to show your support? Then head over to my Patreon and join my team, where you can get exclusive content like eBooks and bonus plays, as well as early access to my vids and more. Link in the description below.